Comes clear. And away they go from the 1400 meter marker. Message in a bottle is right there. Royal Airman with a good position. And Ertejars near the rail. Shun to clear the green sleeves and cap. On the outside, Fabrizio. The Lonsdales near the rail with the white cap. Racing about three lengths off the leader. Then comes Agon Court is on the outside. They are followed further back in the field by Fair Catch. Then Air to Riches and Mushuchella Lomises. As they move to the 900 meter area and Chanticleer just the leader. Back in second, Royal Airman and then the green cap of Message in a Bartle, the Lonsdale. Ertajal is green in the blue silks, but there's only a head between that and the Lonsdale. Agon Court is further back in the run. Then Fabrizio gives him about six length start. Then Fair Catch, Air to Riches, Mushuchella Lomises. As they turn into the home stretch, Chanticleer. Message in a bottle. Ertejal's coming around them in the blue and the Lonsdale between horses. They are followed then by Agincourt as they get to the 400. The Lonsdale and Ertejal, these two come together on the outside, Fabrizio. And Ertejal now takes it up. Ertejal's, that's the one to beat past the 200 meter marker. Chanticleer on the inside, on the outside, Fabrizio. But Ertejal is home and O's. And Ertejal to win by four or five legs. So Ertejal won it, easing up by six. Second place will go to perhaps Fabricio, then Ed to Riches, and a wall of them involved for that fourth position. So the first time of the Australian son of hard spun Ertejal for Mike to cock. Anthony Del Pesce, and they won it by about six lengths, was still very green. Anthony woke this one up early, stick in the left hand, and eases up at the line. And they won by about six lengths, number 10, Erta Jol, who ends up both at 2 Rand 20, the 5 and the 10 horse. We'll have to give you that tote favourite later, but it won by about six lengths. So Erta Jol opens up here at Gravel on the poly. Second placing, I went with Fabricio, that's number 6. When it comes into the picture, just makes it home. Then number seven, Air to Riches. Then there's a wall of them involved there. The Lonsdale's involved and probably very close between that and Chanticleer. We'll wait for the judges on that. Musuchello or Messis with the red blinkers. Then number nine, Agon Court. Number two, a Fair Catch is further back in the run in the first race over 1,400 metres. And then a stretch to the last horse and that's Royal Airman. As we look at the head-on, and here we go in the blue silks, Otajal, and the stick goes into the left hand, and then races away from the opposition to win the opener as they like, and it's a very comfortable win for Otajal. The Lonsdale moved up, did not go on with the effort. A reminder that this was the first leg of the bipod, and while I've got you on air, I hope Raymond will just allow me, let me give the race times while I've got everybody on air. Second race, 19.10. Second race, 19.10. Third race, 19.40. Third race, 1940. The fourth race at 2010. The fourth race at 2010. Race five due to go off at 2040. 2040. Race six, 2105. 2105. Race seven, 2135. 2135. And the eighth race, 2205. Back to the studio. Smashing debut from Urta Joel, despite being green around the turn, he certainly swung for home and put his hooves in the right places. You mentioned he's a nice horse, just a matter of greenness. He is, you know, he's a, a slightly very mature, I think he improved a lot after this run. Uh, well done to the owner, well done to Mark and everyone at the yard. Tell us about your runners coming up, a horse like Osteria, how's she doing? Yeah, very disappointed last time, hopefully improved run. Uh, great to see it's competitive field, but he'll be there. Thanks very much. Thanks. There we have it from John about number 10, Ertajol, and the runners to come later on. Anthony Del Pesh making the winning debut on this individual. Big, strong fella. Yeah, he's a lovely, smart horse. I thought he might get a little bit lost, but when I cantered him down, he gave me the confidence. He, he, he knew what he was out here to do, and yeah, he was a little bit green around the turn. He was trying to run off the fence, but I, I let him slide along in my hands going through about the 600, and he gave me a good feel. I, I couldn't stop him at the end. He wanted to go around again. Yeah, yeah, he's a lovely, lovely horse. I think he's on his way to Joburg now. Now you've got some nice competitive rides coming up throughout the evening. Tell us which would be your, your next best? Well, I thought Melson's got a very good chance and uh, what else? First flight. <laughs> First flight, competitive race. And I think we're going back to a 1400, is a little concern. But he has got the speed and 
backed up quite soon, so it's, it is a bit of a concern, so we've got to be careful there. But I thought if you look for my next best, maybe Melson. Thanks very much for the feedback. Thanks very much to the whole the cock team and to Mike. At, he's uh, at home and having the Christmas party. I hope they have a good time. Not too much drinking. Well done. Cheers. Well done to Anthony Del Pesce. He's brought home the side of hard spun. His name is Erta Joel. Certainly a horse to pencil in. He's just thundered away from the slot.